Hello! <laughs> Wanna say hi? Hello guys and welcome back to another week of RB Rolling. And Sevy just walked away. Hello guys! This is my dog. <laughs> so you can tell by the title. Yes, I went to HorrorCon Flashback Weekend in Chicago. They have it every single year at the Crown Plaza Hotel by O'Hare. And for the past five years, yeah, five years, my boss Nick has allowed me to work with him filming some stuff for HorrorCon. And you know, I like doing it every single year because I love horror. Horror has been a big thing in my life for like forever. I grew up on it. I grew up on like Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street and Alien. Actually, I watched Alien when I was like four years old and didn't get scared, so I don't know. I'm weird! <laughs> so there's a reason why I like weird things and weird people and weird stuff, because I'm weird. Total freak, yeah. So today I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I got at HorrorCon this weekend. I didn't really get to vlog much because I didn't have the time, you know, I'm working. But uh, I just wanted to let you know, this is like the schedule of stuff that happened this weekend. A lot of photo ops. Friday night, we filmed Svenguli. If you're from around here, the Chicago area, you know Svenguli. They're on the, he's on the U. And that was really cool. I grew up watching him like every single Saturday night with my parents, which is really cool. And that was like celebrating the 40 years of Svenguli which was really cool, so we filmed that. Just letting you know, these are like Q&A shows, so like there's a whole audience and stuff, and we're just like the videographers that film all of it. So we filmed Robert England, Heather Langenkamp, and Amanda Weiss to talk about Nightmare on Elm Street for like a little bit before they introduced the Nightmare on Elm Street film for the, the screening for that night, and that was the uh, 35th anniversary of A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original film. So that was pretty cool to, you know, be up close and film what they had to say about that movie, because it honestly is like my favorite horror film. If I had to pick one, Nightmare on Elm Street, hands down, has been my favorite horror film since I was like 15 years old. So that was pretty cool. And then Saturday we filmed the Q&A show for Night of the Creeps, which was like the cast and the director of that film. I never saw that film. I'm kind of interested to see that film. The whole cast was really funny and you know, it seemed like they were good friends and they had a lot of insights about the industry. So that was a cool thing to film on Saturday night. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's like basically what we did this past weekend was like film a bunch of Q&A uh, shows so that was really cool. I love filming stuff for HorrorCon every single year for the past five years and I think it's really cool. And this year I took the time to buy some stuff because I don't know why I never bought anything in the past because I don't know I just never did. So yeah let's get right to it. <laughs> Also, if you do not believe me that I worked this show, then here's a staff badge that I had to wear the entire weekend. So yeah, pretty awesome. So yeah, this is one cool thing. <laughs> and then, um, let's see. So I got this, it's kind of cute. It's uh, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. It's a little plush pillow. There's nothing on the back, but there's him on the front. He looks a little cute. Had to buy it. I don't know why, but just had to buy it. Yeah, I think he's cute, if anything. There was uh, Freddy Krueger and Chucky that they sold, but I didn't think they were as cute as this guy, so I got him. And then I got this, okay, have you heard the film Taurus Trap? It's a horror film from like the 70s or 80s. It's really weird, it's like really freaky. Like everybody's mannequins in this movie, or everybody turns into mannequins by the end of the film. I got it in an extra large because, yo, I'm trying to steal Ariana Grande style. <laughs> no. Oversized t-shirts are a thing now in the fashion world. I'm trying to keep up with my fashion trends while wearing creepy t-shirts. So, yeah. So, yeah. I got... I gotta show you. Oh, do you like my pants? I have, like, large holes in them. My pants are a great conversation starter also. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really cool. It's really creepy and cool, but I can't wait to wear this for like Halloween. Um, gotta wash it still. It smells like it was in a factory. <laughs> so yeah, I'm um, really excited to wear this shirt. It's really cool. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Like I saw it in college and I was like, this is a weird ass movie. So if you haven't seen it and if you like weird shit like me, then watch it. 
<laughs> oh, this is the tag that went on Jason over here. It's called Flatso's if you're interested and want to buy one of these guys. Apparently, this is like a 15 and up toy or something. I don't know. It says it is not a toy. Okay, never mind. It's not a toy. It is intended for adult collectors only. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm really bad at collecting stuff, so I guess um, this is a toy in my eyes. Okay, next we got this Halloween poster that I bought. So I got this original Halloween poster. It's kind of like a cardboard, cardboardy-ish. Do you hear that weird noise? Got it for like 10 bucks. I thought it was really cool. One of these days I'll have it autographed, I don't know. But uh, I'm looking to get a frame for this. Excuse me. I'm looking to get a frame for this and you know, I'll put this on my wall, probably like above where I keep my desk or laptop. Yeah, I need to find a frame for this because this is a really weird size. But yeah, got this really cool poster. This is awesome. And then um, last but not least, this is a really interesting thing that I have. I got a photo op with Freddy Krueger himself. I know I look really weird in this photo. I got a photo op with Robert England before when he was wearing the Freddy makeup. That was five years ago when I first did uh, film Horicon and stuff. This year I got a photo with just Robert himself without the makeup I guess. And he's wearing the glove so this is pretty cool. I gotta show you this. I was in line. He was like Hey, we're gonna do prom pose. And I was like, okay, cool. So I decided to look like that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty cool if you ask me. They have like this whole backdrop set where, you know, you uh, look like you're in the boiler room or something and you have this pretty bloody looking Freddy glove on, which is pretty neat. So yeah, um, I'll pop up on screen the first photo that I took with him right now. So yeah, that was back in 2014. This is 2019 and I'm, Hopeless. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it, what I got this past weekend. That was like the first time I ever actually bought anything from HorrorCon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know, I love working, filming, doing HorrorCon every single year. I think it's like one of the things I like to look forward to the most around every August, other than my birthday at the end of the month. <laughs> but pretty cool stuff that I got. And you know, if you're in the Chicago area and you wanna go to HorrorCon, they have it at the beginning of August every single year. So if you wanna go, you should totally go. I'll probably be there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I got a haircut if you haven't noticed by now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys love the video. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash all the other buttons you can find. And we will see you next week. Oh, on Tuesday, I'm going to be posting our 48-hour film project from Dallas, Vacation. Can't wait to show it to you guys. It's a really funny film. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. So, mwah. love you. Keep laughing, keep loving, and keep on rolling. Okay, cool. I'll see you. Bye.